Let's not fight against China. Let's fight against the virus. My name is Thomas, I am German, my wife is Chinese and together we are living in Shanghai, China. Normally I speak Chinese or German in my videos and even it's not perfect but I decided to speak English in this video so more people can understand my message. After the new coronavirus made it to the global news, a lot of my Chinese and Asian friends from all over the world sent me very worrying messages. There was this one message in particular from a follower that made me really upset. He wrote, I'm studying abroad and I'm living so far away from my family in China. I'm so anxious about them and I don't know how I can help them. On top of that, I'm encountering racism from locals. People are calling me names and avoiding contact with me. Some people even are insulting and humiliating me, as if this virus outbreak was my personal fault. When I read these messages, I feel so ashamed. So I decided to tell you what I am witnessing here in China. Firstly, we should know, we cannot change the past. We just can change the future. So blaming, criticizing, insulting doesn't change anything. It just makes things even worse. Maybe you're making fun of your colleagues, classmates or neighbors today, but tomorrow you maybe need their help. As global citizens living on the same planet, the first thing we should think of is how we can support and help each other. What we need now is compassion. And I'm sure that the vast majority of humankind is thinking the same. Let us isolate the virus and not the people. Secondly, I want to tell you that everyone here in China is so hardworking. Doctors, nurses and medical staff are risking their lives in Wuhan and all over China. For example, there is Dr. Zhong. He's 84 years old and was very active in fighting SARS in 2003. And in these days, he's working even harder to fight this virus. Wuhan, a city with a population of more than 11 million people and other cities are in a shutdown to prevent a further spread of the coronavirus. In less than 10 days, China is building hospitals so that the infected patients can be treated isolated. Thousands of workers are working 24 hours a day to make it happen. They're even live streaming the construction site and millions of people are watching the progress every day. Most of the people in China are very responsible. They go out as little as possible these days. And if they do, they wear masks, they wash and disinfect their hands so no new people get infected with the virus. So if you see someone wearing a mask in your country, it's to protect themselves and others. This is not just my point of view. The Director General of the World Health Organization, WHO, has repeatedly praised China for its efforts. The Chinese government is to be congratulated for the extraordinary measures it has taken to contain the outbreak. Despite the severe social and economic impact those measures are having on the Chinese people. I totally can understand everyone who's frightened or panicking. In the beginning I was very afraid too. But then I realized it doesn't help anything. It doesn't change anything. So now, as everyone around me, I'm staying at home in quarantine. This is my contribution to make my environment safer. I want the situation to improve. And I'm sure so does every one of you. I have a lot of friends who are taking action to help China. Friends from Israel are sending medical equipment to Wuhan. Doctors and virologists are supporting their Chinese colleagues. Everyone is eager to prevent epidemics like this in the future. This is what we as global citizens should do. So please, stop racism. Stop insulting Chinese and Asian people around you. If you cannot help China directly, just be a good friend for the people affected by this situation. If you have a Chinese friend, classmate or colleague, send them a message. Tell them to be strong. Tell them that you support them. Let's not fight against China. Let's fight against the virus. Isolate the virus, not the people. We, as global citizens, have to stand together now. We will win this fight. Jiao.